Okay, so the special comes with feta cheese. And it's called Never Been Feta. Some we wish were our dad. Did you hear that? Are you laughing? Some we don't. You like shaving your armpits, Haley? Huh? Because if the terrorists take over this country, that's the first thing to go. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cartoon dads from TV. Yabba dabba doo! Number 10, Bob Belcher, Bob's Burgers. Tina, you're on the grill. My crotch is itchy. Whoa! Okay. Are you telling me as my daughter or as my grill cook? He may actually be the most normal and stable cartoon dad in the bunch, but normal is a relative term. He looks like a child molester. Louise, don't serve him. Let Gene bring it. Uh, Bob? Why do I have to get molested? Because he's not going to molest you. Why? Because you're heavy. The long-suffering owner of Bob's Burgers, Mr. Belcher does his best, or at the very least makes an effort when it comes to running his family. Oh my god! <laughs> I know. It's a cow! You know what? You won't even know it's here. He gets very little respect from his kids and clients, but can always count on some comfort from his loyal and loving wife, Linda. And Linda, I'm sorry I called you Nagatha Christie. It was in the heat of the moment, and it was really dumb. Aw, thank you, Bobby. I mean, I can do better. Number nine, Papa Smurf, the Smurfs. Over 500 years young, Papa Smurf is always there to lend a helping hand or to dispense much-needed advice to the Smurf population. To ensure his blue friends live in peace, Big Papa often uses a little touch of magic. But how does it work? But even with the daunting task of running a town full of bumbling Smurfs, Ouch! Ouch! Ooh! Oops. <laughs> this wise elder doesn't begrudge his role as patriarch. And that makes him one of the most devoted cartoon dads. How wonderful that my little Smurfs get on so well together. Number eight, Sir Nigel Archibald Thornberry, the Wild Thornberries. That king of beasts, the lion, known to local tribesmen as... <laughs> Certainly one of the coolest cartoon dads, Nigel is a globetrotting wildlife documentarian who brought his family along for the adventure. Completely oblivious, only in the way dads can be, Nigel doesn't seem to realize that his daughter has the ability to converse with animals. So what now? We do what we thornberries do best, snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Nonetheless, he proves to be a caring and attentive father when the occasion arises, and a charming oddball even in the face of danger. No sweat. Easy come, easy go. You... Oh, you speak, I, I mean, you speak English. Number seven, Stan Smith, American Dad. Well, Summer, is that you? <laughs> Gee, Stan, what gives? Holy Toledo, you killed your son's dog. Perhaps not the likeliest person to win Father of the Year. <laughs> Dad, get off me! Stan is highly focused on his career with the CIA. His father planted drugs on him without him knowing. He has no proof. I've got his confession on tape. I was wearing a wire. Why were you wearing a wire? I always wear a wire. With two kids who don't particularly respect him and an adopted alien who has nothing but contempt for him, Stan is a good old-fashioned Republican patriarch who sees his family as an occasional annoyance. Impulsive, manly, and radical as they come. Wait, you gotta believe me. I don't know how that pot got in my van. <laughs> Stan Smith is the embodiment of the American dream. Sorta. Of. But uh, you sack up and eat your wife's grub. Number six, Randy Marsh, South Park. Well-meaning but sometimes ignorant, Randy Marsh is a relatively devoted father to Stan and Shelley. While his drinking occasionally gets him into trouble. What the heck is this? Randy's PhD in geology means he's often asked to solve situations he knows nothing about. Which court is it? You're the scientist, jackass! Like stopping a volcanic eruption. Oh my god, a volcano! Or burrowing through legions of hippies. Drill's getting too hot from all the hippies! But whether he's teaching Stan about puberty. But Stanley, you can't let them get in the way of your friends. There are a lot of boobs out there, son, but they're just boobs. Your friends are forever or taking an active interest in his hobbies. Hang on, I almost caught the dragon. <laughs> you almost got me. Randy still finds time to bond with his son. But I flew too high. Oh my eyes Dad, see. Dad, what are you doing? Number five, Hank Hill, King of the Hill. 
clean cut, straight laced, and with an unnatural predilection for propane, Hank is a caring father, if an ineffectual disciplinarian. I just think if you don't read the newspaper and the only TV you watch is the MTV, you shouldn't be allowed to vote. Out of touch with his teenage offspring and the world in general, Hank's just trying to reconcile his good old fashioned values with an increasingly modern society. What you listening to, son? I don't think you like it. Mother of God, it's all toilet sounds. Though he may not see eye to eye with a sensitive son, Hank is still a patient and devoted father, and less of a loudmouth than other cartoon dads. <sighs> okay. I love you no matter what you do there. Phew. Let's go get something to eat. Number four, George Jetson, The Jetsons. His world may have flying cars and household robots, but that doesn't solve George Jetson's problems with fatherhood and bringing home the bacon. With a son who's up to all kinds of mischief and a teenage daughter who's attracting the attention of all kinds of boys. Imagine me out on a date with Jet Screamer. <gasps> Yikes! George's patience is often pushed to a breaking point. Jane, now listen to me, Jane. I want this bunch of phonies out of here right now. But when all's said and done, he's still a loving cartoon dad. Kerplat! That's right! <laughs> Number three, Peter Griffin, Family Guy. As stupid as he is reckless, the patriarch of the Griffin clan puts his family in harm's way at almost a daily rate. Barely kept in check by his forgiving wife and often outthought by his own dog, Peter has no attention span to speak of. Oh no, I broke the pipe organ! Hey look, the deed to a cattle ranch! And is pretty brutal in his treatment of his daughter Meg. Dad! What is it? What's going on? I heard a noise. Is somebody downstairs? <laughs> Oh, God, Meg, you startled me. I'm sorry. But even for all his faults, Peter still manages to connect with his kids. Just don't ask him for advice. If you want to get anywhere with a chick, you can't treat him too nice-like. Really? Trust me, Chris. The next time you see this girl, treat her like crap. Oh, Mr. Flintstone, here's your paper. Cut. Number two, Fred Flintstone, the Flintstones. Did you get your paper, dear? Yeah, and I'm lucky. It only comes... Once a week. Setting a precedent for cartoon dads everywhere, Fred was a bumbling husband and clueless father before it was cool. What took you so long? I've been worried sick. Are you okay, sweetheart? Is everything all right? How was little Pebbles? What did the doctor say? Fred, take it easy. Though he's loud. Oh, Remy, so Easily aggravated and always trying to make a quick buck, Fred is also friendly and will do anything for his kin. Boy, that's what I'd call a short ride. What does he expect for a dime? A round trip to the moon? By working a full-time job to provide for his loving family, while also trying to keep his wife happy, Fred is prehistory's finest example of a devoted dad. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, laugh. But remember, he who laughs last, laughs last, laughs last. Uh, he who laughs last, laughs... He who... Who he... He... Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Actually, girls, to him, well, you're pretty gross yourselves, with your big heads, large eyes, little bodies. Okay. I didn't do anything. How about not in your train? What? I didn't run. Oh, that's not a bad picture, though. Off the rim. Oh, almost. Boy, that was close. Hey, what's up for today, Nettie? Number one. Homer Simpson, The Simpsons. Oh, how do I know this isn't some beautiful dream, too? Ow! You know, a pinch is more traditional. Homer is equal parts awkward idiot and dedicated dad. Uh, Homer, you do remember your promise to the children. Sure do. When you're 18, you're out the door. He may be a heavy drinker, a voracious glutton, and an all-around lazy lout. But the head of the Simpson family is always there for his kids and ready to help any way he can, even if he ain't the brightest crayon in the box. You're the best father a boy could ever have. Hey, son. Now you've got little hands. Could you reach under that mower and pull out that skate? <laughs> Never mind. Though he often strangles his son and sometimes ignores his daughter's skills. Maggie, cut that racket. Homer is definitely the most famous cartoon dad ever. Why am I such a loser? Why? Well, your father was a loser, and his father, and his father. It's genetic, man. Do you agree with our list? Don't! Who's your favorite cartoon dad? Is that all you got, Storm? Wind chimes! Ah!
For more epic top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. <laughs> I am invincible! Invincible! You! Yeah. Oh!